In the previous episode I've worked on a mechanical fish fins showing students and all of you how nature can inspire robotics. We've also made an improvement of the lab, creating a light board for easier idea development. You will find an instructions link in the description below. Today I'll start building a small but pretty flexible assistant robot capable of grabbing things and taking samples underwater autonomously. But first I want to show you some useful tricks I've learned during my previous work. They may help you a lot if you decide to do robotics in your garage. My name is Todor and this is Build of Scratch. In robotics, especially in the smaller prototypes, we often need a higher momentum for the joints, but there is no space for a large servo motors. In my case, I've needed a higher gear rate to between the servo and the fin, because the small servo motors were not powerful enough. To achieve that, I've modified the servos for continuous rotation, moving out the servo motor position sensor and mounting it on the axle of movement of the fin. In this way, the servo sensor measures the angle of rotating the fin instead of servo axle, and the servo rotates continuously until the fin angle is achieved. Pretty easy and simple, but powerful trick you may successfully use in your robots. There are many ways of modifying servos and you have to be creative. Later in this episode I will again break the rules integrating another servo motor mechanism in a really small compartment. The second trick I want to show you is about the construction. You may notice that I start using common 3D printing technology to create the mechanics of my robots. The problem is that the FDM materials are not pretty resistant, especially in sea water. I've improved that by combining the PLA with epoxy and fiberglass. With a simple coat of epoxy resin, even the PLA may be used in your marine and outdoor robotics really successful. And if you add a thin fiberglass film too, it will improve the strength several times. Ok, that's it, we've done a good job so far, but the best is yet to come. Let's move on drawing a new robot, a mechanical eel. I've designed this concept one month ago looking for a way to grab and move objects underwater. It is pretty simple, we've got a 9 segments with 8 motor joints, for propulsion, swimming and for control, steering. We also have an extractor the second segment, designed for taking liquid samples. The head contains a brain and an echolocator. On the back have a gripper mounted. Today we'll start with the propulsion segments. Every segment has a battery and motor. For the joints I've designed a bevel gear mechanism and a silicon muff for flexible water sealing. 
Here is the third technique I wanna show you, the molding. Having a printer in hands with many different materials, we often forget for the well-known molding technique to create parts, but sometimes it is a better choice. For my needs, I've designed and printed a PLA mold. Then I filled it with a two-component flexible silicone and wait a couple of hours for it to harden. There we go! The other parts I need I just printed. In the next episode I will assemble all of this together to see will it works. People ask me all the time how do I finance this project. The answer is pretty simple. I work a job like most of the people. One day the project will be self-sustaining, but for now this is my way to create the conditions this project needs to run. And also I'm not alone. Many people and organizations share their experience, technologies, environmental conditions, connections, protection, etc. You will find some links in the description below. That's it for today. Keep up the good mood and see you next time.